I am an 11 year old boy from Canada and I was born with Lyme. I have been in treatment for four years and went seven years undiagnosed. During those seven years, I saw every type of doctor and had three MRIs before finally being diagnosed. Living with Lyme is a constant struggle. I have to take lots of medicine daily and go to New York State twice a year to get treatment. The medicine is really expensive, but the worst effect is pain. Random pain, shooting pain, and emotional pain. But I'm lucky. I'm still able to play rep hockey, baseball, and go to school. Many kids with Lyme can't do that or are bedridden. Hi, my name is Daniel Steimers, and I founded the Lyme Education Team, or LET, a group of elementary school students working to educate and spread awareness about an emerging worldwide epidemic known as Lyme disease. I am here today to talk to you about Lyme, prevention, and how you can help. So what is Lyme? Lyme disease is a type of bacterial infection that can affect all the body systems and can imitate many other diseases. Unlike most bacterial infections, Lyme can change and take on different forms, making it difficult for your immune system and or antibiotics to eliminate. Lyme is a tick-borne infection and a tick bites are the most common way to contract the disease. The ticks are very small, ranging from the size of the head of a pin to the size of a green pea, and before they bite, they use their saliva to freeze the area so you may not even know you were bitten. The presence of a bullseye rash at the bite means that you have been infected. However, not all infected bites will have a rash, and in most cases, you will not even know you were bitten. Symptoms of Lyme so in the early stages of Lyme, you may experience flu or cold-like symptoms, including sore throat, fever, st and stiff joints, among others. This is a critical time because if Lyme is caught and diagnosed early enough, it can be easily treated with common antibiotics and a full recovery is very likely. If left undiagnosed, however, or not treated properly, the infection can progress and become chronic. Chronic Lyme can be much more difficult to treat and is often debilitating and occasionally deadly. The list of chronic Lyme symptoms is very long and affects all systems of the body. I have put a more complete list of symptoms on the screen, but some of the more common symptoms include severe fatigue, migrating joint pain, severe headaches, vertigo, facial twitching, and others. Please pause the video and review all the symptoms. Diagnosis and treatment. One of the biggest problems that people have getting a proper diagnosis and treatment is that doctors in Canada don't know very much about Lyme yet and are not even allowed to treat chronic Lyme. The initial test in Canada, the ELISA test, is only about 35 to 55% accurate in detecting one strain of Lyme. There are over 300 other strains of Lyme that they don't even test for. There is a more accurate test in the US from Igenix Lab, which tests for more relevant strains. A negative test does not mean that a person does not have Lyme. There may not have been enough time for the body to make antibodies, the immune system may have been suppressed, or the person may be infected with a strain the test does not detect. Another problem is that ticks often carry diseases other than Lyme, and when they bite, they may pass on multiple infections. These co-infections make it more difficult to diagnose and treat the Lyme, and makes it hard for the body to fight. So as I mentioned before, I was born with Lyme. I was not bitten by a tick. I got Lyme from my mom during her pregnancy. This is known as congenital Lyme and it is not being properly addressed by the government or medical community at this time. Also, there is a growing concern about blood donor screening and transfusions as it is likely possible to infect someone through blood transfusion. 
Prevention. So ticks like tall grass in forests, but they can be found anywhere, even in downtown cities. And ticks are active all year. When traveling in forests, always wear permethrin bug spray, long clothes, tuck your pants into your socks, and after, have a shower and do a thorough tick check. If you find a tick on your body, remove the tick with tweezers, see the link to learn the proper technique, keep the tick and send it to public health for line testing. Go to your doctor for preventative antibiotics. May is Lyme Disease Awareness Month, and last year at one school, we raised $240 for canned Lyme awareness and research. Thank you all for your support. We challenge you to help us beat that and raise $300. Proceeds go to canned Lyme to promote awareness and research for Lyme disease. Some friends and other organizations include Lyme Out Loud, the Live Lyme Foundation, and Canadian Lyme Consortium. We've put the links to their website and many others on the screen, and we encourage you to go and explore their websites. So that's my video. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up.